Hello my fellow Patreons, this is the first video of a Patreon and this is gonna be about an analysis of a song that really inspired me. It's called 17 Years by Ratatat. So let's get into it. I invite you to listen to it beforehand. Pause this video, listen to the song. Even if you do know it, a reminder is always helpful. I'm gonna start with a general analysis and then go more into the details for each part. And I'm also gonna tell you in which way it inspired me to make my own song. If you don't know Ratatat, it's a band from New York, more specifically a duet of one guitar and one bass mixed with a lot of electronic sound. So the first thing that strikes me when I listen to this song is the electronic electronic feels of it. Of course they are using computers, but not as much as you would think because they start with a guitar and a bass. So kind of normal instruments. So how do they get this electronic feel? It starts with the effect they use on the guitar, which is a fuzz. A fuzz is kind of similar to an overdrive or distortion, but it doesn't sound exactly the same. And when they are playing the main riff, so with this fuzz, you can get something quite similar to an 8-bit sound. Which make it sound more like electronic music. And the drum that you are listening to in the song is actually made out of samples, like claps or reversed sound. It's a great song to me because it shows how you can get inspired from musical genres and take those codes and transpose it with your instrument and the way the whole song is constructed. So now let's talk about the way the piece is structured. For me there are four main parts in this song. The intro which is composed of this sample of a guy talking, then a pretty much simple chord progression that I will call A, which consists of D, A, A sharp, F, a and back to D. We are here in D minor. And then by adding or removing some layers, they manage to modulate this same sentence. We will get back to it with more detail later. Then the B part. made of two notes basically, played in a staccato way, that I wouldn't be surprised if it was inspired by a certain ACDC song. And finally the last part that I will call C, that has more this synthesizer kind of feel. I'm actually wondering if they are still using guitar but reversing the sound, but I'm not exactly sure of that. and they are ending the song with a simple fade out. It's not the most exciting ending, but it works and you can definitely get this kind of nostalgic feel about it. Now let's get more in detail into each part. <laughs> so first they are merging the intro with the A parts using a crescendo of a kind of tremolo. <laughs> start with some powerful power chords. So the A part is made of this musical sentence, which is very simple, very straightforward, using only quavers, so notes that last half of the tempo, which again kind of gives this electronic and 8-bit sounds to it. If instead they use ta 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 or ta 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 it would sound way more jazzy, which is not what we want here because we want a more electronic feel, especially with this staccato thing that kind of separates each note. Then they are using the same sentence but adding another layer, which is actually the third of the same musical sentence. I really like the sound of thirds, it harmonizes very well any musical phrases and it's something that I use very often in my own song. Just to be clear, a third is a certain interval, it's when you take one note, for example if I start with an A, 
I just have to count three times A, B, C to get the third and the third can be minor or major but this is not a music theory video so I'm not gonna get more detail on this one so this is basically A then they are repeating it over and over again but then they modulate it to A second which is basically the same chords with a kind of guitar solo then once again they are adding another layer to that which is basically another kind of guitar solo using more slides which in my opinion is kind of blues inspired because they are using slides and bends it sounds so bluesy and end up on this high D they are kind of bending as well so for me the A part is composed of three parts A, A second, A third and A third adding back the staccato phrase plus this higher pitch solo this way they are making more variations to the song creating a build up that is accentuated by the fact that the A second part is kind of simpler and with less layers and as the A part is at is highest arrives the B part that calms it down again having this really cutted notes with this clap sound once again they are playing with harmonies only with two notes Yeah, it's, it's really... Yeah, there are some really interesting harmonies here. Well, it's basically two guitar lines. So simple, but it works so well. Then building up with some more drums, especially with the kick coming back. Another layer coming on the top with the bass. And finally ending with this synthesizer kind of vibe. Again playing with some more layers with very soft, subtle sounds. Anyway, I hope you liked the video. If you did, please let me know and I will try to do some more of this type. And I will see you soon for the next one. Bye bye.